VT Experts reporting extension is a must-have tool for every company that uses VTiger. In this video, we'll go over the key features of the reporting extension. First, the dashboards. All the dashboards can be created using our reporting extension. You'll be able to add detailed widgets as well as the graphical charts and graphs generated by our reporting tool. Um, first, let's get into the actual reports and see how easy it is to create the report using our tool. If I go to my reports list, and let's, for example, take the organization list. I'll just go ahead and edit it. The first block is used for general information about the report that you're creating. So we can put in the organization list as a name, the description, if you are creating a new report, you would select the module and the folder. You can also create folders as you're creating the report. We'll go to the next step. And the next step is a tool to allow you to select the fields that will be included on the report. You'll be able to select from multiple modules that are linked to the primary module. And to simply select the information, you would just check the box and the fields will be included in the report. Going to the next step is the labels. You can change what shows up on the report. So say instead of organization name, you could just put organization and that will show up on the report. Next, we have a nice feature that allows us to highlight the column. So since we have that checked, you will see how that translates to the actual report. In addition, you can move fields around just using the drag and drop functionality. Going to the next step is sorting and limiting, very straightforward. Then we have the standard functionality, which is creating filters. So say, for example, organization name contains X, Y, and Z, and that's what you would put in as a filter condition for the report. Next, we have the sharing ability. In this case, it's shared for everyone and it's set to public. However, if I change it to share, then I'm presented with another option to share with users, groups, roles, and more. So you'll be able to set the reports private, public, and share with your VTiger users. Lastly, we have the scheduling part where you'll be able to schedule reports to be automatically sent out in PDF, Excel, or CSV, set a time, and again, you can select who will be receiving the report. Um, finally, let's save, and you will then see the interface when the report gets generated. Um, right off the bat, we have edit, duplicate and go back to the list reports. Next, we have options to export to different files. And the filters is you can collapse and expand and add additional filters as needed. In this case, we don't use any filters, so that does not apply. So I'll just collapse it to save room on the screen. And next, you can see all the information from the report and the highlighted column that we had. Um, a nice feature about this extension is that you can add a detail widget to your dashboard. So if I click this, it will then add the widget. And if I go to my home page, I will then see the list of organizations that have been added to my dashboard. And they're right here in the corner. You can also remove the widgets and you'll be able to add it back then from the reporting. Next, let's take a look at more complicated report invoices by status and date. So I will just go ahead and edit it's the first one. So again, we have the basic structure of the name, description, the module, the folder. Going to next step, that's the primary module and that's what we want to select when we're working with invoices, opportunities, we're able to some average min and max every field that is a currency field or a number field. In this case, we only need total, so we'll just select total. Go to the next page. The label of the total 
that can be changed as well. In this case, we'll leave it as is. Um, next, we have the ability to create rows and columns. So this is the power of the matrix reports. We'll be able to have row, column, and then additional two rows that will be grouped, and your results will be displayed as you configure. It's very similar to pivot tables. In this case, we want to see the status as well as the invoice date, which will be grouped by month. That's all we need for the time being. As I go to the next step, the standard functionality, we can filter out certain reports, statuses, invoices. It's just basic uh, filters. Next, we already covered sharing and we already covered the frequency, which is scheduled reports. And lastly, we have the charts. That's where we'll be able to select what kind of chart you would like displayed. And you can select up to three. In this case, we have vertical and the sum of the invoices. If I go to the next page, and then I can see I have a detailed report group by status and by date and the totals for each status for each month. And then down below I have a graph that shows me paid and each different color is a different month. It's a very nice tool to view your data on the fly. And then again if I add my widget to the home page and go to the home page I will see the widgets on my dashboards. So that covers the key functionality of the extension. There will be more videos explaining how to create reports and how to get the most out of our reporting extension.